Did Wendy really kill her brother Ben? Why the hell did the showrunners decide to make Darlene and Wyatt a couple? Will Jonah be in search of revenge for his mother? And lastly, is there a tiny hint that the birds will finally be happy in season four? Hi, I'm Peter, and before you continue watching this video, you should know that there'll be lots of spoilers regarding Ozark season three. So if you haven't finished watching the last season, postpone our video for a while at least. And to the rest of you out there, let's go. Did Frank Jr. survive the gunshot? Okay, this might be the easiest one on our list, though some fans still have some doubts about it. Let's look at it together. Many of the viewers hated Darlene in season one and season two. Though in the latest season, she changes a lot. It was pure satisfaction for most of the viewers to see Darlene brutally attacking Frank Jr.'s groin at the end of season three. But did he die because of the gunshot? We didn't have a chance to see how the scene ended and the camera stayed too far away to see what happened to Frank, right? But just in case you weren't attentive enough, closer to the end of the episode, Darlene had a conversation with Frank Sr. where you can hear a pretty clear hint that Junior survived that shot. I know none of that's gonna bring your boy's pecker back, but it's millions of dollars every year in your pocket. And because of Cosgrove Sr.'s reaction, we understand that his son is indeed alive. Not fine, but alive. Perhaps Darlene's actions will teach him to be a little more polite in season four. Did Ben Davis die? Is it just us, or does anyone else out there think that Ben looks like a mix of Keanu Reeves and Kit Harrington? Anyway, moving on. Ben Davis made things really complicated in season three, and no surprises, there's a theory that Ben might still be alive. It may sound crazy if you're hearing this for the first time, but did you actually see him being murdered on screen? Before we talk about his death, whether it's real or not, let's briefly remember how everything started for him. We first see Ben in season three in that crazy school scene. Sometime later, we discover that his name is Ben and that he's Wendy's brother, and that he's bipolar, and that he ends up at the Bird's Casino, which means that sooner or later, he will find out way too much about the bird shady business. And that's exactly what happened. This probably wouldn't have been a big problem if only Ben Davis wasn't completely out of his mind. Because of his behavior, Wendy starts to understand that she can't trust him at all. And the longer he exists in this world, the more problems Marty and Wendy would have. That's when Wendy realizes she has to get her own brother out of the picture. But did he really get killed? Because again, they didn't show us the moment Ben died. And according to what we know from other television shows, a character isn't dead unless we see him or her being murdered on screen. This is an old trick many TV shows have played on us. Desperate Housewives, White Collar, Lost, Westworld, and even Stranger Things have done this. So. Is this the same case with the same trick again? Well, we don't think so. The thing is, the moment of his death didn't need to be shown in the series from a dramatic standpoint. Admit it, it was obvious that sooner or later, Ben would be out of the picture, though he was a very lovable character. And maybe that's why showing him dying would be too cruel. Anyway, we've seen Marty burning the body and Wendy being in deep, deep turmoil. So if the showrunners do want to bring Ben back in future seasons, they would need to invent a huge twist. But we can hope that at least he'll come back in flashbacks, right? Will the birds and Ruth start a war? Their conflict has been building since the very first season. Both Marty and Ruth understood clearly enough that they would work together as long as they needed each other. Though Ruth never hid her real motivation. She wanted to learn how to run the money laundering business so she could be separated from the birds. But time passed by and their relationship became more and more intense, giving Ruth even more reasons to put an end to their mutual business. And no surprise, Ruth won't ever forget them killing Ben and refusing to protect her from cruel assault by Frank Jr. That's why we're pretty sure there'll be a direct and violent confrontation between them in season four. Though there's a big important issue here, a huge issue. Remember how Marty gave the drone footage of the murder that happened on American territory to the FBI? He intentionally cropped Ruth out of the photos. Any ideas what that can mean for season four? That's right, it means that Marty can use those photos in case Ruth wants to start a war against the birds. At the same time, Ruth knows a hell of a lot of the bird secrets, how they launder money, where and how they keep the cash, 
And more than that, Ruth has a very powerful partner, Darlene. That's why we're sure it'll be a tough time for everybody in season four. Why the hell are Darlene and Wyatt together? Let's face it, their relationship is weird as hell. Not least because Darlene is old enough to be Wyatt's grandma. But have you ever wondered why the showrunners decided to make such an unexpected and strange twist? We have at least two answers for that. First of all, because Ozark is all about unexpected twists, right? Starting from the very beginning, the series has been packed with betrayals, brutal murders, and mind-blowing financial schemes. So why not surprise the viewers with a shocking age gap relationship? Sounds consistent. But this trick wouldn't work if there was no dramatic background for it. So here comes the second answer. In some degree or another, Darlene and Wyatt were meant to be with each other. And here's why. They both experienced a hard loss. They have a similar temper and lash out. They're involved in the same shady business. And most importantly, they both hate the birds a lot. Does it make any sense to you? Of course, all of these could be a reason to become friends, not lovers. But remember our previous answer? Ozark just loves to play with expectations and blow our minds. And that's why we love the show. Will Jonah fight against his parents in season four? Jonah really wanted Helen to pay a price for killing Ben. Coming to her house with a shotgun was a very clear sign of that. But pretty soon, he finds out that the person who was also responsible for Ben's assault is his mother. This was definitely a breaking point for Jonah. But a breaking point to what? Starting from the first season, Jonah has been dealing with a lot of things he doesn't like about his parents' business. And during this time, he has grown up in every sense of the word. He's mature now, and losing his friend might be the very last straw for him. There's a theory that Jonah may join the opposite camp in this brutal game, the camp of Darlene and Ruth. And if that happens, things could go really, really badly for Marty and Wendy. This could also mean that the footage of Ruth that Martin has against her might not be such a big threat after all, because Jonah has much more against his parents. Our biggest prediction for season four is that it will be about a war between Ruth, Darlene, Jonah, and the birds. What do you guys think? Is it a possible scenario for season four? Or will Marty and Wendy find a way to persuade Jonah that killing Ben was the only option for everybody, despite how horrible it may sound? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, before we talk about the possibility of Marty and Wendy's happy reunion, let's answer one of the geekiest questions some of the fans had. What arcade game did Marty play as a kid? Does it really exist? And where can you play it? Things turned really bad for Marty when Navarro captured him in his cartel dungeon in Mexico, after he saw that the disagreements in the Bird family could do lasting damage to his business. Being held captive, Marty had a lot of time to think about literally everything, even about playing an old school arcade game called Beast Slayer, while he was in the hospital waiting room because of his dying father. Marty even ordered this game for himself soon after he got out of the dungeon. But was it a real game? And did hospitals even have arcade games in the 70s? Oh, for sure some of them did, though to some of the fans' disappointment, the game Beast Slayer never existed in real life. It was all fictional. The showrunners created the game for the Ozark series. So, in case some of you guys wanted to order Beast Slayer, we have bad news for you. It doesn't exist. Sorry. Will the birds finally be happy in season four? Let's face it, the birds are in more danger than ever now. And as long as the show is doing pretty well on Netflix, we can assume that it won't end on season four. But we're here not only to answer all the questions we had as we finished watching the last season, but to give some predictions on what might happen next. And here's the theory that we believe. Things will start to turn around for Marty and Wendy as husband and wife. It may sound super crazy, but wait before you judge this theory. Listen to what the producer of Ozark, Chris Mundy said. I think the new season will be about if the birds can turn the biggest mistake of their lives into this huge advantage, and how much will karma catch up with them if they do? How can that be possible? Well, if we go back and analyze the true reason behind the birds' troubles, we assume that it was due to Marty and Wendy never listening to each other, in each season, in every episode. Remember, that was the reason why Marty was put into a dungeon. The best thing they can do for now is at least pretend they get along and fake a beautiful picture of a family that is happy together. Why not make another baby? Just an example. They did try in the past with their psychologist. They tried to separate the power and responsibilities, but each time they failed. 
and that's fine. They don't need to be happy to sort out the hell they're living in. They just need to pretend. And maybe, after some time, the pretense will turn into a real thing. Fake it till you make it. And that might be the best scenario for them to start pushing down the level of madness around. We'll see in the future season if any of these theories work out. And for now, thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel. Stay safe and awesome.